Life Audio. Hello, thank you for listening to your daily Bible verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for our lives. I'm your host, Grace Fox, and I'm so glad you stopped here. Connect with me further to learn more about my books and speaking ministry. You'll find me at gracefox.com. That's gracefox.com. And now, after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, John 21, 21 and 22. The greatest red carpet you'll ever walk is through your front door. We're Dr. Josh and Christy Straub, marriage and leadership coaches and hosts of the Famous at Home podcast. With a realistic, grace-filled look at the struggles families face today, we cover topics designed to help you become a rock star under your roof, set healthy rhythms between work and home, and build a rock-solid marriage. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Famous at Home on your favorite podcast platform. Today's Bible verse is John 21, 21 and 22. Peter asked Jesus, What about him, Lord? Jesus replied, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? As for you, follow me. My husband and I were married only five months when we moved to Asia. We felt that God had called us to serve him in a country where converting to Christianity was considered illegal and punishable by law. We lived and worked among the people, but we had to be wise and discerning about when and how to share the gospel. Not being fluent in the language added to the challenges we faced, and I sometimes felt like the most ineffective missionary ever. At the same time, a couple we knew and loved moved to Africa. We received their newsletters in which they wrote about showing the Jesus film in villages far and wide. Thousands of men and women placed their faith in Jesus as a result. If those newsletters arrived on a day I felt discouraged, it was difficult not to compare our circumstances with theirs. In all honesty, I had a few discussions with the Lord that sounded much like Peter's conversation with Jesus in today's Bible verse. Jesus had just given Peter a personal challenge. Three times he'd asked Peter, Do you love me? Each time Peter said yes. Jesus answered, Feed my sheep. After the third time, Jesus prophesied the type of death Peter would suffer. The verses immediately preceding today's verse read like this, I tell you the truth. When you were young, you were able to do as you liked. You dressed yourself and went wherever you wanted to go. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and others will dress you and take you where you don't want to go. Jesus said this to let him know by what kind of death he would glorify God. Then Jesus told him, Follow me. Peter's response to that was so human. Rather than taking a moment to thoughtfully ponder what Jesus said or Giving Jesus a hearty yes, he turned around and looked at another disciple, probably John, and asked, What about him? Jesus answered with a redundant question. Basically, he said, Hey, your God-given destiny involves death on a cross. I'm not going to discuss with you what John's destiny involves, but even if our Heavenly Father chose for him to stay alive until I return, That's none of your concern. Your one and only concern is to follow me. Don't you just love this interaction between humanity and divinity? On the humanity side, we see Peter responding as we so often do. God might ask us to do something that costs us time or money or convenience. Rather than giving him a hearty, yes, okay, I'll do that for you, we shift our focus. We turn from him and look around at others' circumstances, and then we ask, What about him? Or, What about her? What are you asking that person to do? What are you asking him to sacrifice? When we go through difficult times, we might even ask questions like, 
Why do you allow such hard things in my life, but you bless that person with a life that seems so easy? I'm struggling to make ends meet, but he has more than enough. I'm struggling with my health, but he has energy to burn. Jesus didn't get caught up with trying to explain God's rationale to Peter, and neither does he owe us an explanation. But he does share two words of wisdom with us. Follow me. There's so much wrapped up in those two words. God's purposes for me and for you will always be different than his purposes for other people. If we fall into the trap of comparing our path with another's, we will become discontent. There's a good chance we'll end up struggling with jealousy and envy, maybe even self-pity. I experienced all these things when I compared my effectiveness as a young missionary in a closed country to my friend's effectiveness in Africa. And so the best thing we can do is to keep our focus on Jesus, to follow Him and not be distracted by looking around at others and the path God has purposed for them. Doing so was key to my developing contentment then, and it's still applicable today in the light of other circumstances in my life. When we feel ourselves doing what Peter did, like turning around to see what God is doing in someone else's life, let's remember Jesus' words, follow me, and then let's do exactly that. Let's turn our sights back to Jesus and follow him wholeheartedly on the path he's chosen for us. Let's pray. God, thank you for this interaction that so beautifully illustrates our human tendency to compare our lot in life with what you're doing in the lives of other people. Thank you for your patience with Peter and with us and for reminding us to follow you. Keep us focused on the path you've set before us and help us be faithful to walk it with you, not looking around to concern ourselves with the path you've set for others. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Once in a generation, a podcast comes along with the power and eloquence to inspire us all. This show will entertain you while you wait for that one. Join two best friends, author and former history teacher John Driver and comedian Johnny W. for hilarious and authentic conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. You can listen to Talk About That wherever you find your podcasts or at lifeaudio.com.